Welcome back to Mindful of Tech. It's a rather special video for us here today um, as I wanted to take a moment to celebrate the fact that we have just hit 100 subscribers. So I just wanted to upload a video to say thank you very much to the 100 people that have clicked the subscribe button. Um, I was browsing the web on this rather special little device which we'll talk about in another video. Uh, the other night and I captured the moment, well I say I captured the moment, I followed the link on an email and uh, saw that we were at 100 subscribers and I took a screenshot of it so that will forever be in uh, the Mindful of Tech Hall of Fame. But yes, yeah, so I, I just wanted to take a moment to do a bit of housekeeping really because that seems like a good thing to do when you hit milestones. Um, so first things first, um, I've been playing around a little bit with how I'm recording these videos. Uh, at the moment, I'm shooting these videos on a couple of Windows phones because they are the cheapest 4K cameras you can buy. Like seriously, I paid like 30 quid for one of them. Um, amazing, uh, for the price at least. Uh, it's not the best technology, but uh, we have what we can afford. Um, and I have been playing with 1080p 60 and 4K 30. I decided maybe that frame rate's more important than resolution. Certainly something that I believe in gaming, so maybe also true of video. You can let me know down below uh, whether or not you think we should continue uh, 4K 30, which is what I've traditionally been doing, although the last video was 1080p 60. So let me know what you prefer. Is frame rate more important than resolution when it comes to video? We will find out. Of course, 100 subscribers is also a good time to look back on some of the videos that we've done. Um, I wanted to just throw together uh, some of my favorite moments um, and highlight some of the, the videos that have been successful slash unsuccessful slash I've enjoyed making them. I mean, I've enjoyed making them all. Some I've enjoyed making more than others. Some have been more successful than others. Those two things do not necessarily uh, correlate. <clears throat> If, if you haven't seen any of these videos, uh, please do check them out. I will obviously chuck links up in the corner for those of you that are on browsers, and I'll have links down below in the show notes for those of you that are, you know, on telephones or other devices. So, uh, yeah, celebrating 100 subscribers. Roll the VT. Let's pull some keys. Oh, look at that. If these two had a baby, how, however that would work, it would probably look something like this, which then of course became the Xbox that we know and love today. Our pixel pushing prowess is provided by the creative 3D Blaster Banshee, an AGP video card built on the Voodoo Banshee chipset from legendary early GPU giants 3DFX. So yeah, we got some loot. We clicked on stuff until it died. And then we picked up the crap that it dropped. And now we're going to go and sell that crap. And that's Diablo! One thing I would say is that that blurb contains spoilers. If you've never ever seen this film before, which we should always assume is the case when we're marketing a film, whether it's an old film or not, saying that it breeds from within a human host is a massive spoiler. So apologies that I've had a spoiler on my channel, but that is from the official blurb on the back of Alien. That's, that's genuinely <laughs> annoyed me. <laughs> We can even find test card creepypasta deep in the web pages of the Scarfoot blog. According to reports, old Chattox would appear in place of Carol if you were foolish enough to leave your set on late at night. Her eyes would search the room, bringing doom upon those to which she turned her gaze. I highly recommend reading the rest of the story and experiencing the alternate reality of Scarfuck for yourself, by the way, so type on over to mindfulof.tech forward slash Scarfuck or check links in the show notes. And finally, before we go, I just wanted to uh, take a quick straw poll, really, of, of you guys watching. Um, if you are one of our 100 subscribers, please do get involved and uh, 
vote on this i will rig up a poll uh of some sort hopefully i can either do it through youtube or something else check out the uh, links down below for a poll on what we're going to do next so i've got a few videos in the pipeline um, as you can see around me here the eagle-eyed will have already noticed many things that i'm sure they would be interested in videos about but i just wanted to narrow it down to three things um and put that to a poll obviously if you've seen something that you would really like to see a video about that's not a part of these next three things then do sound off in the comments down below and i'll be sure to get to doing a video on that as soon tm as i can but the three things i wanted to present for your viewing pleasure today um, and indeed i have partially worked on videos for at least to a script degree and a kind of thinking about it on the loo sort of degree um and they are barcode battler a toy that you may or may not have heard of don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil the video that will be coming up about it. But if you've heard of this thing, you would like to see a video about it or you haven't heard of this thing and it's piqued your curiosity and you would like to know more, then uh, vote in the poll. This will be one of the options available. As I say, check the comments down below uh, and the show notes for a link to that poll. Um, this could be the next video that we do here at Mindful of Tech. They are all around us. Millions of barcode warriors and wizards waiting to fight. Waiting for barcode battler to free their awesome power. Free the power! But be warned, nobody knows what's really out there. The battle has just begun. Barcode battler, free the power! The other option? Uh, which would be following directly on from the video series that we started in the last one, digging in the case, will be a restoration and rumination on this particular PC case. This will be becoming the new Windows 98 machine. Um, it's a little bit rusty, a little bit dirty, and it's going to need a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, but it will be the new Windows 98 machine, so we'll have some Windows 98 videos coming uh, at some point in the near future as well. But if you would like to see a good old-fashioned restoration and rumination... So if you'd like to see a good old-fashioned restoration rumination on this case, um, then vote in the poll down below uh, and we will make this the next video if that is indeed what you want to see. And the third option, which is a little bit out of left field um, for this channel uh, so far, but it was something that I intended to touch on as well, uh, given that it is the sector I work in, is this Pathfinder Adventure card game. This is... A board game essentially well a, a card game um which follows some of the rules of pathfinder which is a variation of dungeons and dragons um in order to create quite a fun adventure game which you can play solo so try not to knock anything down but if you would like to see a kind of review and a bit of a playthrough um i guess it would kind of be a let's play so i'd probably keep it in the style of uh, say the Diablo video that we did but obviously playing a physical game which we'll cover with multiple cameras and do some cool stuff with while we're presenting it. If the next thing you would like to see is Pathfinder the adventure card game then vote in the poll. Dark rumours whisper that the Rune Lords have returned. The Black Maga is awakened. Ezra, do something! Wounding Spirax! Yes! Black Maga has been defeated! Yes! Your destiny is in the cards in Pathfinder Adventures. Obviously, sound off in the comments about anything else that you've seen here today and anything that you've seen previously on the channel that you would like to express an opinion about. That would be great. Interaction is key. Um, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much for being one of the first 100. Uh, absolutely incredible. And if you enjoy being the first, there is a very exclusive opportunity to be my first Patreon. So I do have one. Um, I don't really go on about it too much. I know it's ridiculous. We're a tiny channel. Um, but anything that you could throw my way to uh, help me just know that these videos are, you know, worth whatever a few pence to you um that would be great uh you obviously you do not have to i'm not cap in hand about this i very rarely bring it up but you know i will bring it up every now and then because if someone wanted to give me a million pounds 
to do YouTube, then I'd be mad not to have one, right? Anyway, if you like Patreon and you like doing that sort of thing, support me. Uh, otherwise, literally just subscribing, liking, commenting, anything. But yeah, if you don't want to do that, then anything you can do. Subscribe, like, share, tell your friends about it. Um, you know, and uh, indeed, if you would like to give more, there is a Patreon. Um, and if there's anything in particular uh, you would like to see featured on this channel or any any feedback at all that you have, drop it in the comments down below. Obviously, I'm trying to get better at this um, and I would take all the feedback I can get. So that's it. Thank you so much for getting us to 100. Uh, hopefully we will be hitting another milestone before long. Um, and in the meantime, I guess I should go and make myself a, a paper YouTube button <laughs> to celebrate. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. Uh, we'll be back with more awesome content real soon. Hit that button. All the buttons. Just any, just hit a button. I don't even care which one. Just hit hit buttons. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>I thought it would be the perfect time, uh, as we've just hit 100, to do a little bit of housekeeping. Oh, sh <laughs> Barcode Battler. A toy that you may or may not have heard of that... So, if the next thing you would like to see... Damn it, gravity!